Hey, 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 everybody, it is Pyrostrat, and we are once again doing another a video of Victoria 2. I tried a finished video before, and it sucked. So we're going to try again, and I think I have a plan this time that will hopefully do something for us. Uh, maybe not. We'll see, though. So we are playing this big white blob up here. It is called Finland. It's a puppet of Russia. Uh, Sweden has cores on it. It's, it's not in the best position. So both Sweden and Russia have cores in us. What that means is if we declare our independence in Russia, Sweden could come in out of nowhere and just um, attack us and try to eat us. And uh, yeah, so basically the first couple of years that we're going to be doing this, we're uh, just going to be trying to get as much cash and population growth as we can. Alright, so we have another army that we can finally build. And it is very important, the one we want to build is a Hussar. Nothing else, just a Hussar. It's going to probably bankrupt you a bit. <laughs> uh, don't worry about that. This is all for one unit. And Russia doesn't seem to have any troops on our border. Hey, Russia, guess what? We're going to take our independence now, thank you very much. Ha! Alright, so we're now at war with Russia, but technically, we're, um, we're a free nation. We haven't won the war yet, but you can see here, we're a civilized nation. We're not a vassal anymore. Which means that if we want to, say, go down here, we can justify a war. They're allied of Sokoto, don't worry about that. And we can establish a protectorate. Oh, oh, France, the Netherlands, and Montenegro. Oh, no. That's the dream team right there. Man, we ought to say sorry. Okay, we're gonna... I'm sorry, Russia. We're gonna become a pup again. Okay, I don't want to fight Netherlands, France, and Montenegro. The first two would have been enough, but those... The third one? Oh, it's so scary. And wouldn't you know it... We lost all our reforms, but we didn't have any anyways, and we can reform now because everybody's so angry that we lost the independence war. So this is good because it means that people won't leave as much, uh, theoretically. Also, don't invest in Swedish, uh, rather, uh, don't invest in, in a, don't, what am I doing? What's wrong with me? Don't invest in Finnish Karelia here. Don't don't uh, put your focus in here ever at all. D just don't worry about it. Make sure you have enough convoys for each of your uh, troops here, so you can actually get to where you want to go. You don't want to leave literally anybody in uh, Finland. It's, it's gonna get really spicy there. Just see what's going on, basically, and uh, then, well, <laughs> before the war, make your way over to the place you want, I guess. So as you can see, we can't declare war because we're a satellite. However, remember that last thing we did? Yeah, we're gonna do it again. You probably guessed. They're not even close to us, so we should we should be fine here. Uh, so we'll, we'll have enough time to hopefully take over Wari and start a justification on another country before we have to um, peace out. However, they're probably going to take Karelia, which, remember, they have a core on. And uh, the reason why we wanted the Hussar is because they, well, they make you see that stuff out faster. That's basic information. Cool stuff to know. Oh, hey, we can get voting. <laughs> this is the perfect time. Okay, propose peace. We now have them, and now we can try to take uh, probably Benin or Aro. Okay, so looking at the populations, I think Aro is better. And now that we have Wari, we are going to peace out with Russia for everything that they want. So they get Karelia, and that might not seem like a good thing, because, well, it's not. But what this means is that since we still have a core on this, we'll, if we are able to declare war and get independent on Russia, which I'm not entirely sure we will be able to do, we will be able to take all of Corellia, rather than just that small chunk. So, it might be good if we can get it back. I'm not sure how we're still having an election, since the Russians made it so that we have no voting. By the way, I would not build any ports in, uh, your, in your main Finland. <laughs> that's, that's stupid. I wouldn't build ports or forts in it just yet, because, uh, the, the, the US, the, <laughs> Russia, I have had it before where Russia would uh, add a Casas Belly to dismantle constructions, meaning that I'd lose anything that I built there. So I'd say I'd say mostly let your investors do factories if you do any of those. Uh, don't worry about forts and don't worry about uh, ports, except for maybe one in Wari. I, I doubt that they're going to put something in for that, but we'll see. All right, if you want to, you can uh, do another one. You might want to do that, but I don't want to get any more. Uh... Oh crap! Let's uh, let's peace out before they destroy our stuff. What's going on here? So we're fighting against... The Netherlands wants reparations. We're fighting against France, Hungary, Netherlands, uh, everyone. What is Germany doing? They're fighting against Russia, too. No, they're not? Yes, they are. Oh, we can, we can, we can... Russia does not care about the Netherlands! Look at that, they're gonna lose 10 prestige! 
Let's look at that prestige go down. And um, Russian a row. That's actually Finnish, but uh, whatever. So, uh, yeah, this is basically our population base for now. It's got a lot of population. Uh, we don't have a lot of population where we are. And uh, look for basically the best time to strike against Russia. Wow, Germany. <laughs> are you okay? Um, you seem to have some sort of condition. Wow. Germany is going to get absolutely wrecked. Okay, this is probably the worst thing that could happen to us right now. Germany was the most likely one to destabilize Russia, but I guess not. Ah, there we are. Um, <laughs> you look kind of sick right about now. Are you, are you feeling alright? Alright, so North Germany just got cut down to size twice, had to release Ostprussian, and Hamburger's a thing now. <gasps> Finnish! We have 0% Finnish people in Bonnie! Yes! This is gonna be rough. <laughs> the main rival of Russia is not doing too well. Like, he's still got a shot. How much of a shot, though? Uh, oh, uh, why? Why? Why would you do this, Russia? Well, we could go after Benin now, that we know that the Russians aren't really doing anything. But I kind of deleted all of my transport convoys to build an actual navy. In Germany, we're depending on you to do freaking anything. I'm literally ready at a moment's notice. Just do something, Germany, and we can, we can together we can fight them. What did you do? Okay. So Russia called us into a war. <laughs> oh, it was a defensive call to arms, that's why. Okay, so normally when Russia declares on somebody, they don't call us in, because uh, I don't know why. But since it's a defensive call of arms, we have no choice, and they have no choice either. We are going to not deal with any of this. Okay, this is actually good for us though, because if Russia gets if Russia gets rebels, just please don't hurt me, Britain. So because of this, we can't declare war. <laughs> Freaking great. We can't justify a war, but we can't justify a war. You know what I'm saying? And the Ottomans. This is actually good because if they can wreck uh, Russia, even if we don't have a concurrent uh, war, I mean I'm afraid that they're gonna blockade us and ruin us. But <laughs> help me. Oh, oh no, never mind. <laughs> it's just our con. It's, it's our government that's ruining our economy. Alright, you guys always vote wrong, you don't get to vote anymore. Uh, France, please don't. <laughs> please don't. No. France, why? Why? Oh. <laughs> France, you're a loser. You suck. Alright, this should help uh, Germany out, hopefully. Uh, well, they got what they wanted. Also, Switzerland is fighting Austria. What? They want to rule. Just want to roll. Japanese Alaska. <laughs> there are eight people who really want old age security. If anything, that just shows how low our population is. Wow, Hungary wants Istria. I don't think they're gonna get it. <laughs> so, so Hungary is completely sieged up by Austria. So if you look, the USA is helping Aunt Hungary to take Istria, but they're not gonna peace out because the USA doesn't have anything to worry about. So uh, Hungary's dead. I almost feel bad, but I don't. Dutch Africa, you don't see that every day, wow. Crap. <laughs> France has declared against Germany. <laughs> Russia didn't join. So it means that they're only allied to the Netherlands. However, we cannot defeat Russia on our own. We're gonna give it another shot. And we're gonna try to defeat uh, Russia and the Netherlands, and that's that. Something I hate about this is that it doesn't automatically terminate your alliance with them, so I'm still allied to them even though I'm at war with them, so I have to get rid of that alliance before I can ask. Uh, Germany for an alliance. And Sweden now, nice.
White peace! White peace! This means that we're now a civilized nation! Yes! But now it means that we have to fight these guys. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Get together. Please! Please! That's one Pearson! Please! Maybe Norway will join. <gasps> they will! They will! Yes! Oh, we lost. We got stack wiped. We can't. Oh, no. <gasps> yes! Norway's coming in! Norway's coming in! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no! <laughs> Get Vasa! Get Vasa! Please, please kill the army. No, no! Why are you doing that? I can't tell. I, I wasn't really expecting to do, to win. <laughs> The Russian thing, but if, if Sweden does this now, please, no. What are they doing? What? <laughs> I will take a white piece. Thank you very much. Oh, my lord. That feels good. We are free. We are an independent nation now. Yes! We don't get our own name, but... Okay, the Grand Duchy of Finland is no longer under personal reunion with the Tsar. So do we want to keep a monarchy or a republic? Well, the thing is, if we get a republic, we're not able to change when they vote wrong, so we're going to keep the monarchy. Ah, oh, Finland! Yes! Oh! It's 1890. That feels good. Cannot go to- oh yeah, we're, we're still in the sphere, it's the thing. Which is kind of stupid. We got out of their puppet tree, but we're still in their sphere. I thought we'd hate them. So we're basically gonna look around and hope that we find something that is free. And this is now Finnish Persia. Oh, <laughs> looks like France is fighting Russia, the old allies. They're like, you don't got Finland no more. That's the only reason we're in this in the first place. We are diplomatically isolated. Only Denmark likes us. Behold, what I have brought upon the world. <laughs> and just like that. Just like that. Oh, yes, finally. So basically what we're doing now is we're just trying to make people angry so that they become uh, communist. So we can uh, do a, uh, so that we can uh, proclaim Greater Finland and take over Estonia and stuff. Oh, What? <gasps> Finnish communists! Yeah! That's what these guys do their thing. Oh, okay, most of the socialists with them now. And finally, in 1919, they have finally taken Helsinki. This will turn us uh, communist, yeah. Karelia? Well, Germany's on our side, that's pretty rad. Please, UK. Alright, we're in war now. Russia, Netherlands, UK, and Italy versus Germany, us, Spain, the Ottomans, and Austria. It's not the strongest alliance for it, but it might be able to do something. You gotta be kidding me! Hungary came in! Alright, we got this though, we got this. Oh, but Romania is fighting us as well. Why is everyone like this? And now Poland is fighting f <laughs> Okay, Poland is fighting Germany and Austria. Romania is fighting Germany and Turkey. Hungary is fighting Germany and Austria. And then, of course, there's our war. And France now? <laughs> what are you doing? France, Poland, Romania, Hungary. Yeah, well, we're officially dead. Germany cannot mobilize any more troops. They are they are dead on all fronts. Okay, Germany, just piece this out. Just give them Corellia at this point. We'll be back later. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's France and Norway. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought they were gonna give it to Norway, but no. Oh, Sweden's on our side now. This is a strange turn of events. Oh. Uh-oh. Wait, what? 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 Ah! <laughs> Scandinavia, great power, satellite of Iceland? What? 
without Germany. I'm not sure how we're gonna get Russia. But hey, this is this is redemption for Finland Independence Day where it couldn't get independence. We're independent, so we, we got that far. Oh. No. It appears as though Poland is getting partitioned. <gasps> oh! We just got an invitation to the Great War with Russia. This is our best chance. How are we losing so terribly? So pathetically, so insanely much. It's just Britain and Russia. I'm giving them a best shot, alright guys. Uh, I think we're probably the most successful out of all of our allies, which is sad considering that we're Finland. Can the USA do anything? What the heck? <gasps> uh, well, we tried our best. We were, did fairly decent at first, but it eventually fell apart. This is pain. This is suffering. But we're starting to win, I think. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm prepared for the USA at any moment to just piece this out and get uh, capitulated. But we're finally doing well, so uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call this a win, no matter what happens. France, France, we need help. Oh, is China out? No, China's still in, but barely. Oh, our fascists, why? Was this really necessary? France. I think I think this is it. I hate this so much. Please. Please, France, help. Please, America, do anything. What are you doing? Okay. France is sending more troops. This might be good. Oh, they're gonna get Moscow back though. It was all for nothing. It's all over. They never quite got Karelia back or the other stuff. In the end, we got free, and we have modern-day Finland borders. We also have rebels, don't worry about that. I think this is where we're gonna cap it off. The first half of this, when we got free, that was a great success, but the thing is, we got super unlucky. Germany got pounced on by, uh, like, five people at once while we were at war with Russia, making us lose Karelia. And then, of course, in this other war, America is not the best ally to, for an uh, overseas war. Thank you for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Sorry that we couldn't get quite to great power or everything that we wanted. Thanks for watching and goodbye.